Oh, those are really small if grapes. If you thought my family owned a lot of hamsters, hamsters, wait till I tell you about all the cats we oh, have. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just a heads up, though, some of these cats are dead. They all oh. lived nine happy lives. Yeah, None of them had a painful place. death. Except for one, maybe. Oh, we no. don't know. We'll get into that. <laughs> so cats. Some people think cats are jerks and not as loyal or loving as dogs. Mm -hmm. They are right. I mean, but if you think about it, either. cats improve our lives but every day. Think dogs. back to YouTube in 2006. What was cats. popular? Cat video. Cat video. Newman, if it wasn't for cats, oh, we wouldn't have YouTube as a platform. Which I could make the argument is another jerk thing cats did. Now, um, I'm a cat lover. And anyone who says they dislike cats satisfied. has obviously that never snuggled cats. up with a cat and had it purr on your chest as you pet it for so long that you both fall asleep and all your anxieties Aww. melt away and the That's only thing you care about is your fragile feline friend. Yeah, or they're allergic. Honestly, I, I think cat. I'm slightly cat allergic would, um, to cats as well. Because every time I snuggle up with one, my eyes legs, get all watery, my nose gets all stuffy. Every no. Well, like, <laughs> you know, I can <laughs> deal with that. <laughs> Maybe this is what love <laughs> feels <laughs> like. People like to put everybody in a two category. Either you're a dog person or a cat person. But why do I have to pick just one? Can't I look at these two animals and say that both of them have good qualities that make them amazing pets? Yes. Why can't I pick both? I, you can. I'm bisexual for animals. <laughs> Wait. I don't know that being that. said, no. there's all the cats like I had going. So our family had just moved to our new house, and we're all getting ready to go to church, when my older brother, who was outside for some reason, instead of getting ready, heard noises coming from a bush. And when he went to investigate, he found a little baby tabby kitten. He told my parents about the cat, and they said its mom was probably looking for it. But if the cat was still there when we got back from church, then we could let it inside. And after we got back, well, my check brother the checked rabies. the bush, and the cat was still there. Oh. So we took her in, we fed her, and we decided to name her Shady after Eminem's The Real Slim Shady, <gasps> because she was an obnoxious cat and didn't she like us at all. Yeah, stuff, but she's yeah. so cute, though. And that's how our family got our one and only cat. One cat is that's enough. Cute. There were no that's more cats. Yes, I wonder if it's mother was Until still one night when I was though, sitting like, at the kitchen table, and through the window of the back that, door, baby, I saw two yellow cat. eyes staring oh. at me. And as a kid, I still thought monsters were real. So I pointed it out to my family, Hey, there's eyes outside. Right. And everyone turned and was like, what the? So we opened the back door and a piece of the night just walked into the house like it lived there or something. Does this mean we have bad luck? Apparently, just waltzing in our house uninvited is a very effective strategy to get adopted because she ended up living with us for the rest of her cat life. My older sister loved Sailor Moon, and in the show, there's this black cat named Luna. Spoiler alert, Luna's actually an alien that can turn into a human sometimes, but most of the time, she's just a cat. So we named the cat after her, and a little old Luna fit great in our home. We were your standard nuclear family with two cats just two we never got another cat ever again <laughs> until 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 one day this <laughs> other cat appeared in our backyard we put lunas and shady's food bowls outside which meant our backyard oh, was basically like a cat sanctuary cats? for any cat that could jump our fence and sometimes also, we would see this side, though, cat hanging out in our backyard we didn't know if she already had a home and she would run away from us if we got close so we left out a third food bowl for her and then she invited some of her siblings along because two other cats decided to chill in our backyard and one of the cats was a boy which which meant we had to get all five cats neutered. <laughs> and just like that, we more than oh, doubled the amount of oh cats we had. Dude, we were no feline pretty good. Oh Three more cats animals. added to the family. Holy Cause why not? Why like That's the perfect amount of cats if you ask me. Like, <laughs> I'm gonna name them no! now and then. What? And you give them a We're cat not on the getting back three more cats. But if you it's want too two is to enough. love and you want what? to give love to We an can't just kick them out. Aren't we're going to find them a new home. It. Unless but you get like a certain type of cat them. like the one I had, which is really affectionate. Okay. Which that doesn't happen that Also, often you're not allowed cats. to name them. Or at least to, to, to if you name them, then you'll get attached to them. And we're not keeping them. So since our mom banned us from naming the cats, we called them the Calico Cat and the two other ones. We kept calling them this until our mom found them a new home. Take Turns out that their new home was our home, because my mom never found them a new home. <laughs> so we just left them food outside, and they were happy with that relationship. They would let you pet them sometimes, and what even sit on your lap, like, but if you tried to pick them up, they then? would hiss and bite you. No. They did not like age, being picked up, like or that, being inside. They were feral cats. So they like One time it was raining, young. so we thought it would be a good idea to bring the calico cat inside, but she freaked out. She hissed and scratched us. She hated being inside more than she hated the rain. And by the way, cats can be very loud. Like, as loud as dogs. They just never raise their voices. They're too proper for that. So since she didn't like being inside, we just 
It might have been Put her back or, outside in the pouring rain. We ended up naming the boy cat annoying. Spot. Quite the other annoying. cat we named Pepper. Like when my cat, Calico, no, saying my cat, like we didn't change her name. Him. We named her. It Calico. would get freaking loud. That's like naming a dog like, Golden here, Retriever or Chihuahua. I don't like know if that's crazy. sad, but you know what is sad. It, it, One day Spot annoying. just it get quite disappeared. But I stopped showing up to the house and never saw him again. Yeah, if he found a good home. somewhere else, someone else. Who knows? You know, maybe he went off to start a second life or a fifth or sixth life. Get it? Because they have nine lives. That's another possible. Yeah, but he's probably dead. I mean, I've heard stories. And then I was in high school when Shady died. Shady just ran out of the blue. The cat would show up again. So we were down to three cats, and we never got another cat ever again. But then one day. But then one day, my parents are out on a walk. My mom saw a scrawny black kitten on the side of the road, and she said, "Can we keep it?" But my dad said, "No, keep walking." Keep walking. Years. And then on their way back from it's the walk, for some reason my dad didn't take a different route, the cat was like still there, of, meowing like, at them. So my parents brought her home, and my twin sister named her Pepsi. My sister really loved Pepsi. I was more of a Coke person myself. But when my sister went off to college and I stayed home for community college, we let Pepsi outside one day, and she didn't come back. We didn't know how to tell my sister that her cat was missing, but we didn't. But we were all really worried. We put up missing posters, and after almost two months of being missing, she just appeared in the backyard. I don't know what happened in that two-month period. She looked fine. Maybe she got adopted by another family, and now some poor family is missing their cat Salem. Maybe she went out looking for my sister and got lost. Maybe she started acting in some Japanese TV shows. Who knows? But we found her. We didn't even tell my sister that her cat had been missing until after we found Pepsi. So she wasn't very happy about that. Then Luna passed away. It was sad, but cats don't live forever. They don't. Sorry. Sailor Moon wasn't even a good show anyway. <gasps> now, long-time Odd Ones Out fans might know this next story. My older brother found another kitten at the gym he worked at, brought her home, and named her Azula. But the name Azula didn't stick Azula, because we found out that Azula was a dude. I was the one, by the way, who saw Azula's firebenders and told everyone. Just wanted to get that part of the story straight. Firebenders. So Azula's name had to Fire, change, and while this mean? was happening, Fire? we had a French foreign that's exchange a, student living with us, and she didn't I'm know the word for with. kitten, so, so she Azula called him the baby then, cat. And then we all started because calling him the baby cat, and, and now that's his name, name. baby cat. That's how he got his name, so baby cat. Girl, Since we're on the topic of pets, I, I have something know. that I probably Firebender. should have mentioned a while Firebenders. For the most part, I try to keep this channel goofy and lighthearted, which is probably why I waited so long to tell you this. But around Christmas of 2017, my dog Georgie passed away. You might remember her in some of my older videos. She was 13 years old, and just like the cats, it was her time to go. Yes, it was sad, but that's what happens to pets. They become your best friend, but they're not in your life forever. So if you have pets, remember to appreciate them now. I wouldn't have changed anything about Georgie's life. She was a good dog. Sorry, that part got a little the the video, personal. <laughs> yeah, my, uh, my dog, dog Poppy, did not take Georgie's death very well, so my parents had to get an emotional support dog for their dog, and they got Jax, because you know, he liked to jump, so he was their jumping Jax. Aw, what a dog. My, other, my 